What is going on guys? It's your boy DBGTX-YT. We are here with a discussion video. That is right. It is a discussion video in regards to the new trailer for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This video in, in particular, besides posting the breakdown like I did just a few minutes ago, this video is going to be talking about not just exactly what type of gameplay, but also discussing how far the game is going to go. This is my second video in regards to this. And the reason why I want to make a second video to this is because the last video was a bit longer in my explanation. So I want to go ahead and chop it down a little bit and give you guys a bit more insights that I've been getting from the E3 media board in regards to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So for starters, as you may know, Akira Toriyama signed off on the project and he said that this is probably one of the closest if not one of the best iterations of Dragon Ball to date um, from not only from the animation that we get not only from the graphic uh, standpoint that we get from CC2 Cyber 2 Connect shout out to Cyber 2 Connect I already know what they do they always know how to do their job so there's nothing that uh, you can sit here and complain about as far as the aesthetics now everybody's worried maybe the gameplay might lack um i personally have felt that cyber 2 connect has always been able to deliver uh not always i can't say deliver 200 percent but about 95 percent of the time from naruto ultimate ninja storm 4 all the way up you got storm 4 from storm 1 uh, and the original Ultimate Ninjas all the way up to uh, the latest Naruto to Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 They have always been able to do very good interactive storytelling and very good um, Gameplay to be honest, you know, I've never seen them tackle a situation where they've had an open world like this where you know um which is uh, a thing that I've been that I'm seeing in the community is that as you guys see in the, in the um, on the screen, uh, there is open world. A lot of people were asking how 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 much of that is going to be. Like, is it full open world? Um, I pretty much called it based off on the breakdown. I said that more than likely you're going to have chapter per chapter, um, and then at the end of the game you'll have the availability to be able to see and do much more missions side quests and all that good stuff in an actual open world that you could go from place to place by going to a marker or doing fast travel or doing something like that uh the other thing that i wanted to touch on that i mentioned earlier was the gameplay style in my game uh gameplay breakdown video I mentioned that it was going to be very similar to Xenoverse 2 in the sense that you'd have to hold like R2 and then press a button in order to be able to launch a special attack and as you can, guys can see on the screen that is exactly what's happening um, you do have to hold the LB which is the left back trigger um, instead of the right back trigger but anyway same thing left bumper but when you hold the um, when you hold the train or when you hold the button, you go ahead and, be, and you're able to select the moves from the move slots and be able to launch it at your opponent. Uh, the skill tree more than likely is going to give you a leveling system per move. So for example, you are going to have a base Kamehameha wave, which probably won't do too much damage, but definitely is strong. But then if you use the skills. The skill set more than likely that skill set is going to be broken down also into using let's say for example you know um, the moving Kamehameha wave you know the one that Goku used against Raditz when he controlled it or the same way like Krillin slash Yamcha does with his spirit ball technique and such um, so you'll be able to upgrade your command mail wave to be able to do something like that for example or it'll be a different technique that you could interchange from your arsenal techniques so that's something that's pretty interesting and a concept that I knew that it was gonna come in because I just didn't know how else they would implement those things unless it was going to be based off uh, a combo so for example if you press triangle 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 
you know, triangle plus circle, it will do a KO can, but I, I thought that that would be kind of like repetitive. So uh, I think that they may be going with a way that there's not a single way, just like Xenoverse, there's not a real single way to for you to be, uh, what's the word, for you to do a combo and that's a good thing because it gives you a little variety so when you go watch a reaction video when you go watch somebody else play that that story mode you won't always see the exact same thing play out uh, the other thing that I noticed uh, that they were talking about in the open world is uh, Goku fishing yes you can fish there's going to be a variety of mini games in this world uh the only one that i've seen thus far and at least th up to this point that they've released is that goku uses a fake tail he sticks it on yes he sticks it on to his backside as you guys can see in the picture and he goes ahead and uses it for fishing and what you do is you kind of control the balance uh there's a balance beam that happens that shows on screen and you control it and you wiggle your tail and then when uh, you balance it out and somebody comes through to try to uh, somebody comes through uh, or the fish is about to bite you press X and pull it back it'll knock out the fish it gives you food gives you you know whatever uh, gives you replenishments and other items and such um, there's also they're more than likely different quality of fishes depending on where you're fishing if you're on planet Namek versus you, know, you being on planet Earth um, the other thing that I'm looking at in that in, in that same spectrum they did announce that they cannot reveal if there's going to be uh, if you're going to, to be able to play with other players which is really an indicator that they're going to have other players available but to what extent is the point and if they do again like i said in my breakdown if they do decide to go with a multiplayer base like how serious or how deep are you going to get into that multiplayer por portion of the game because if you do that and if you put a multi that's that, that that's my biggest issue my biggest issue is that this being this is being sponsored as a very faithful adaptation to the first three arcs of Dragon Ball Z which is another thing that I want to touch upon but let's continue on this point where I'm saying that because of that a lot of the graphic engine a lot of the recreation a lot of the thing is focused more on the story and on the story gameplay and how you play throughout the story so they can add a multiplayer but don't expect the multiplayer to be extremely layered out I mean we're talking we're talking that Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm isn't super complex either, and that's the that's what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is that if anything, you're not gonna get more than 18 characters or 20 characters like Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, the first one. So don't expect too much if we do get a multiplayer base for competitive fighting or PvP, or in the case cooperative fighting. So you can look at it either way because I mean there's a there's a likely scenario very likely scenario that we'll end up getting like a cooperative uh, thing where you could go ahead and play with other players online and like uh, certain 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 scenes or certain story points where you need to fight against you know a character and like they're jumping the character if it makes any sense so like against Nappa everybody was fighting against Nappa you see what I'm saying all right, and that would allow you to play cooperatively that particular board if you're playing on extremely or harder difficulty or something like that or there's just a co-op mode for that that's the things that I could come up with but I'm not considering this game having a full hardcore PvP uh, arena like you know a la Ultimate Ninja Storm hyped up and extra I don't think that this game is it it will probably be the second one uh, but, don't, but that's just me that's just me last but not least um, what I was just talking about is how far the story is going to go now everybody is saying that this is supposed to go further than the Frieza saga or it's going to go further than the Frieza saga I'm letting you guys know right now again 
reiterating this again for people who are not understanding what is happening this game is essentially a remaster it's a basically a 3d world of the legacy of goku if that is not getting through to your guys head and the map is not there i don't know what to explain to you guys Everybody wants more than the Frieza Saga, but they're clearly telling you we're not getting any more than the Frieza Saga. At max, Mecha Frieza, at max, in the base vanilla story. Now, if we get more content down the road, that's a whole different thing. But that's, that's that, that, that'll be DLC. That can go for you to have Goku versus Cell, you know, or Goku versus Broly. Or, you know, that storyline or something like that for DLC. But the main story is going to have elements of both movies and the actual anime mixed into it. And you're going to have a shit ton of side quests and mini quests and um, mini games and things that you're going to have to do. Like learning the spirit bomb, like, you know, getting through Snake Way, like... Uh, being faster than the guy who you fall off snake way you have to outrun those things like that are going to come into play so if people are really sitting here expecting that this game is going to bring more content than like as far as the base game for more than the Frieza saga and all the first three to five movies I'm sorry to disappoint you but then you're not going to get what you want like you're not the second game is going to be designed for that aspect it's going to be designed for you to be able to immerse yourself with all the other players there is already a map design there with the legacy of goku i am i cannot stress enough that these guys are just basically saying let's just make the legacy of goku in full hd with amazing graphics everybody look people be like oh we're watching the same story for the 20th 30th time in a video game and I'm like you know what I will never get enough of Dragon Ball Z and if you have enough, if you have had enough of them retelling the iconic first three seasons of Dragon Ball Z and you don't like that then this is not your game unfortunately because this is what you're signing yourself up for when you like an anime when you like something that has an I iconic moment and it has the fan base that they have and you have more and new kids coming through watching this series and watching everything that is Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and whatnot, they are not all too familiar with the backstory of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. They don't know the full thing of Dragon Ball Z. Some kids just come in and watch Dragon Ball Super and know just a tad bit of Dragon Ball Z. So you can't expect that the whole world is going to be at your level or knowledge base. And that is the one big thing that I have against a lot of my peers that have been on Twitter as of the drop of this trailer slash since the announcement of this game is that they're talking in that regards is like here we go again with the same thing and I'm like you signed up for this you signed up for this so you cannot sit there and expect that you're going to get what are well, when we get when we were given Xenoverse an alternate story to the same story, people ain't like it either. It's the same shit. Uh, so there's no way to please the hardcore fans who want something new. And I I understand in the concept of wanting something new, you just want a all new story, some something that will be amazing to you know hardcore fans and new Dragon Ball fans. But I think that you know sometimes. A different take helps. A diff every game has a different aspect. Every game does it differently. And you could fall in love again with the same thing. That's the bottom line of that. So I'm going to leave it at that. That is my in-depth discussion. That is my discussion video in regards to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I hope you guys enjoyed the slideshow and enjoyed the gameplay, uh, the little bit of gameplay breakdown that I've given you guys and my own take away from what we got in that particular trailer slash what I've gotten from the rest of the community. This game is coming in at the early two, uh, 2020, so we're talking about January, February, March. That sounds about right. And we're, I can't stress enough how I'm looking forward to this game. So with that being said, DBGTX over and out. And make sure y'all go ahead, share this discussion video, and leave yourself a comment. 
down below. Let me know what you guys think of what I've mentioned and what you guys expect, what you guys want, you know, what you guys think that this game should and shouldn't have. I would like to open up the comment section for that. So hit your boy up. Holla at your boy. DVDTX. Again, over and